Steve Firth joins us to talk about Kilt Up for Cancer. Thanks for talking with us today. You're welcome. Now, you're in the full Highland equivalent of a tuxedo, you were telling me. Now, the jacket and tie are going to come off, but the kilt is going to stay. Hopefully for the entire year. Yes. Tell us what you're doing. Uh, well, I'm trying to raise awareness and fundraising for uh, male-specific cancers. And by doing that, I'm going to be wearing the kilt for the entire year um, <laughs> with a various amount of tops and, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to attract attention to uh, to you know, the, the cause and uh, and what do you, what better way to, than to point out the guy wearing the kilt for no apparent reason. Exactly. Now, what made you uh, want to do this? Um, well, just recently, I've become aware of uh, um, a lot of close family and friends that have been diagnosed, and uh, my uncle passed away this week uh, from cancer. So, um, I'm I, I've been made really aware of these events just this past year or so, mm -hmm. and I thought, well, you know, it's funny. Uh, the girls have the breast cancer thing, and there's there's a whole bunch of awareness of that stuff, and nobody really speaks about male-related cancers. It has this sort of unspoken stigma. I mean, cancer still in our society is not spoken about too much, and I thought, mm -hmm. well, yeah, I, I have no time for that kind of rubbish. Mm -hmm. So I'll just um, I'll make a big noise about the whole event, and let's see if we can't do some good with it. So an entire year in a kilt. An entire year in a kilt. What do you think the biggest challenge is going to be for you? Um, Running, jogging, I think will be, yeah. It's, I, I said the other day to a, um, another interview that I had uh, that it would probably be the cold weather, but I walked to school like this this morning. It was minus 7 uh, or minus 10, something like that. And it wasn't too bad. So I've changed my mind. I don't think it's going to be weather. I think it's going to have to be the running because these things weigh uh, you know, quite a lot. You know, they're about 3.5 pounds of material in them. So. Now, if people want more information on how they can donate, I think it's a really cool idea what you're doing. You. How can they get involved? How can they help out? Oh, we have a 100 different ways to help out. Um, um, we'll host events uh, every month, hopefully, okay. uh, and people are more than welcome to come along, kilt up. Um, they can wear some plaid if they don't have a kilt, uh, come on down and, and enjoy part of the, the event itself. Uh, they can sponsor me for my, my year-long kilt wearing at 10 cents a day. That's 36.50 a year. You can donate online. Uh, we're part of the Canadian Cancer Society, okay. and uh, I have a web page on that site itself, okay. so they can make uh, uh, contributions and donations on that site. They can make them to me they can find and hunt Ben down and they yeah. can make them to okay. Ben um, they can find the links on our website they can find the links on our Facebook site they can Twitter follow us finding us is easy awesome well it's easy like he said and there's lots of ways to donate so thank you so much for talking to Steve I think it's really cool what you're doing let's support him and you can always get more information on the Canadian cancer website look for Steve's page at cancer.ca